Sinister Circus, Rise of the Demon Clowns. In the quaint town of Willow Creek, where shadows danced and secrets whispered, there lurked an ominous presence that would forever haunt the memories of its residents. It was the nightmarish figure of Pogo, the Demon Clown. Pogo's appearance was both captivating and grotesque. His porcelain mask, painted with a sinister grin, concealed twisted, razor-sharp teeth. His crimson eyes, akin to smoldering embers, seemed to burn with an infernal light that chilled the soul to the bone. His costume, a grotesque parody of festivity, was tattered and blood-stained, adorned with wickedly sharp baubles that clattered ominously with every movement. On a fateful Halloween night, as darkness enveloped the town, Pogo emerged from the depths of an abandoned carnival. His laughter, a macabre symphony of cackles and wheezes, echoed through the silent streets, sending shivers down the spines of unsuspecting victims. The first to fall prey to Pogo's wicked machinations was Emily, a young woman who had strayed from the safety of her friends. As she wandered through the gloom, her heart pounding with trepidation, she heard the sound of shuffling footsteps and the menacing clinking of baubles. Turning cautiously, she beheld the horrifying figure of Pogo. Panic surged through Emily as she fled for her life, but Pogo's supernatural speed proved too swift. With a swift motion, he seized her by the neck, his eyes gleaming with predatory delight. Emily's screams were cut short as Pogo's razor-sharp teeth sank into her flesh, tearing her life away in a gruesome instant. Word of Emily's horrific demise spread throughout Willow Creek like wildfire, sending shockwaves of terror through the community. The town's children, once excited about Halloween's festivities, were now filled with dread, knowing that a monstrous predator lurked among them. As fear gripped the town, a group of brave young adults decided to confront the evil that had invaded their midst. Armed with makeshift weapons and fueled by a mix of terror and desperation, they ventured into the haunted carnival where Pogo was said to reside. Inside the dilapidated Big Top, they found a gruesome scene. Emily's body lay limp on the ground, her skin pale and her eyes vacant. The scent of blood hung heavy in the air, mingling with the faintest hint of sinister laughter. Suddenly, the carnival lights flickered and the laughter intensified. A kaleidoscope of colors danced before their eyes as Pogo appeared before them, his grin widening into a mocking leer. The demon clown lunged at his would-be assailants, his baubles jingling ominously. Chaos erupted as the group fought desperately for their lives. They wielded their makeshift weapons with all their might, but their efforts proved futile against Pogo's supernatural power. One by one, they fell victim to his gruesome attacks, their screams swallowed by the darkness. Only one survivor remained, a trembling young man named Ethan. As Pogo approached him, his eyes blazing with infernal fire, Ethan's hope dwindled. But then, in a moment of desperation, he noticed a small, ornate box hidden beneath a pile of discarded trinkets. With trembling hands, Ethan reached for the box and opened it. Inside, he found a silver crucifix, its surface tarnished but its power still potent. As Pogo lunged, Ethan brandished the crucifix, its holy light blinding the demon clown. A deafening roar filled the air as Pogo writhed in agony. His grotesque form dissolved into a thick, acrid smoke that dissipated into the night. The carnival, once a place of joy and laughter, was now a haunted ruin, a testament to the terror that had been unleashed. As dawn broke over Willow Creek, Ethan emerged from the horrors of the night. Haunted by the memories of what he had witnessed, he became a solitary figure, his silence a grim reminder of the demon clown who had torn their town apart. And so... The legend of Pogo, the demon clown, was passed down through generations, a chilling tale that served as a warning to those who dared to venture too far into the darkness. Thank you for diving into the spine-chilling mysteries with Chills Unveiled. If you've enjoyed the eerie tales and creepy narratives that send shivers down your spine, Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more hair-raising content. Hit that notification.
notification bell so you never miss an unveiling of the unknown. Join the community of thrill seekers and let the darkness unfold. Subscribe now and let the nightmares continue.